it will unlock one dollar of that account. So this is an excellent opportunity to the mobile teams have provided emergency supplies to 19 health facilities serving a population of about 166,000. These facilities had been closed or non-operational for many months due to drug shortages. The 19 sites were selected for assistance because health personnel had returned to work there. UNICEF is planning to reach 26 additional health posts serving 325,000 people with emergency supplies over the next few days. Even before the military takeover of the country, the Central African Republic was already one of the toughest places for a child to survive, consistently ranking among the bottom 10 countries in development indicators. The needs have deepened and extended, and children are bearing the brunt of a vicious cycle of poverty, poor governance, conflict, and political instability. Uh, it's building on last year's World Humanitarian Day. Inside CAR, there are now an estimated 206,000 internally displaced people. Since mid-July, we've additionally seen 4,125 refugees arriving in the Moisala area of southern Chad. This year, uh, a campaign that will actually last for one month. We are again calling on the CAR government to do more, to ensure the safety of people and their property, to avert further displacement and suffering. <laughs> We have reports on a routine basis of uh, human rights violations of uh, very serious nature, the reports of rape, of, uh, of shootings, of other incidents. As I described, uh, the nighttime situation in Bangui itself um, is one in which uh, people in some cases are telling us they're just simply not sleeping at night. They prefer to keep vigilance and on watch. Uh, and try and cope by sleeping during the day. So uh, uh, it remains an extremely uh, worrisome uh, situation and CIR retains its reputation as one of the world's most dangerous countries. <laughs> Thank you.